from the from the market update standpoint, since we're like broken records. I mean, saying the market is still strong, the the number of units continue to fall just because of the reduced um, number of properties on the market. But the interesting thing this last month was there was actually a decrease in the overall median value for the island of Hawaii. But that's mainly due to all of the sales shifting to the east side. So because the, the, the west side sales have almost dried up. Dried up. There's just, just hardly any inventory. There's more homes selling on the east and the, the rural parts of the island, which is dragging the median price down, right? Because median is not average. Median is the middle home that's sold. So there's just less stuff that's selling in the higher price ranges because that stuff has all been sold. And so the, the homes in the areas with more affordable homes are selling at a higher rate, which is kind of bringing that median price down. So it's an interesting um, kind of shift in the, in the stats this last month. But Condo sales over 100% island wide and pretty much in every market. So people are getting over 100% of what they're asking for uh, in the condo market. So it's wait, totally wait, wait, on wait, fire. Wait, 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 wait. They're getting over 100% from asking. So you're saying that if they're asking, let's say, 300,000, they're getting 600,000? Well, no. on average, so on average, they're getting one hundred and one percent is what it is, right? So just over. So, but but oh, there's oh, definitely oh, 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 many okay. condos selling for you know ten twenty percent over list price. So okay. it's it's in the in the west side of the island, it's actually one hundred and five percent. But then island wide, it's one hundred and one percent average list to sold price. Yeah. So got it, got this, it, got it. We don't see that too often, where you know the overall, you know, we'll see onesies, twosies there, but where overall the average is over one hundred percent is is pretty unique. Right, because usually you get some sometimes you, you'll you'll you won't expect to get uh, your listing price in a typical market. You get a little bit below because etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, yeah, and on, on average, it's always below. You know, it's like ninety five percent, ninety six percent. You know, it's kind of is in a normal market. And land, it's like ninety percent. You know, a lot of times you can negotiate land prices way down, but yeah, very very strong um, final list sold price across across the board. Homes, it's ninety seven percent. Land, it's ninety one percent. So, um, really strong across the board. This thing ain't ain't uh, ain't ain't going up, Scott. Before we we go to you, I want to. Okay, so so gang, so Christy says hello from the ninth island. Aloha, Christy. Welcome. We're glad you're here. So here's a trivia question for our audience here. So what is the ninth island? What is the ninth island? Pop that in the comments. What is the ninth island? Uh, Scott, give us the update. What's going on on Oahu news, uh, real estate? Anything you want to share about Oahu? Yeah, I'll piggyback on uh, what Dylan was saying and, and add a little bit to it. So. Single family home price on Oahu is up 21% this year, year to date, uh, January and February. Our median home price just hit 1.125 million. So continuing to go, go up. And our list of sales price ratio on average for single family homes here is 101%. So sellers are on average getting more, uh, you know, 1% more than what they're listing it for. The interesting thing is I actually ran my numbers just to see kind of how I compete with the, the marketplace. And I'm getting 107% on average on the listings that I'm bringing on the market. So between uh, negotiation and skill and whatnot, I'm significantly outperforming the market, which was good to see. Um, the interesting thing for me though, is condo prices, condo pr or condo sales, condo prices are up 10%. Sales are outpacing single family homes by a two to one ratio. So I, I call part of this, what we call the, the spillover, or the, the overflow demand effect there's not enough homes in the single family home side. So we're actually seeing fewer sales happen on that single family home side, but that's because there's not enough inventory to, out there to choose from. So the condo sales are now taken off significantly and inventory is decreasing. The interesting thing, so I've been talking about this active number of single family homes on the market right now. In a normal market, we'll have 1,600, or yeah, 1,600 to 2,000 active homes on the market. At the bottom of, or at the height of 2006 market, we at the low side, we had 814. We just hit 400. We finally got back to 400. We were in that 390 range. So I'm like, yay. But the reality is, is when you think of the perspective of that, it's nothing. I'm, I'm now the next step I'm wanting us to see is last year we were at like 450. Okay, I want to see us get back to that and increase. But the, here's what's happened with the condos. And I've mentioned this, we were at like a 1,030 um, two months ago, uh, previous episode 990, last episode 960, we're now at 899 active on the condo. So they're, they're disappearing. That's where everyone's shifting to. There's, they're more affordable and there's more options to choose from. So we're moving to that side. The inventory is shrinking. The prices should continue to increase. And Japan, the news of today is Japan 
announced that they are lifting their restrictions on travel and, and all the, uh, the restrictions on COVID. So now the international buyer should come back. And tourism was off. I saw the other day, Japanese tourism was off 98%. So we have a huge influx from the international market to be able to come to Oahu. Man, I mean, and it just feels like it's so, it feels like we're so back to kind of normal again. I mean, I haven't driven through Waikiki for a long time, but all the stats are saying that our, well, I guess the, the, the all the stats are saying that we're right back at uh, pre-COVID levels of tourism, if not more, but I'm certain that that is only for like ana analyzing the West, uh, the, you know, the, the, the Westbound market, the, uh, the mainland U S it's not counting the foreign market. So when that foreign market comes in, in, in <laughs> We've made these, you've made these predictions a long time ago, Scott. You said, hey, man, as soon as these international buyers start coming in, they're going to, you know, it's, this is kind of, a, I, you know, I don't want to say kind of scare territory in terms of like the prices, but that this thing is so no, like like Dylan said, we're broken records. We should just like have a pre-recorded version of like a show like last year, just play it again. <laughs> it's the same thing. Go ahead, Scott. I'm sorry. The one interesting thing is interest rates. I mean, we're clipping along, right. we're, we're the lack of that. inventory, we're clipping along at, at the same price appreciation ranges last year but rates are almost at four percent and fannie and freddie are getting out of that they're trying to get out of the second home investment home market so i've we've qualified some second home investor rates and they're at like 4.75 so not only adding 20 percent uh, on the appreciation but add into the, the fact the interest rates higher how much more is that costing you to purchase that home at what point do you see that de deceleration i mean it, it's got to right. happen at some point when does that when does the price kind of bend the curve right when mm -hmm. is when does the increase rate bend the curve yeah well we're, we are gonna we're gonna find out uh i don't know when it is uh we got to say hi to a few more friends who have joined us uh uh sherman uh sherman glass then aloha from tennessee welcome sherman we are we are glad to to have you with us heather don't give up girl aloha from portland haven't given up the dream yet heather you, you just got to stay focused on it and find something look at the end of the day and i want to ask you guys about this too at the end of the day get whatever you can afford just get it whatever it is just get yourself in that market i mean look i bought when i was in my 20s and i only bought what i could afford it was a leasehold one bedroom but i bought it uh tom's tom's back tommy is an alumni of the eleanor hana tom welcome it's nothing to be sorry about tom we're just glad that you're here buddy we are glad that you're here and the uh of course, Kenaya is with us. Kenaya is an alumni of the Islander Ohana. Kenaya, we are thinking about you, girl, because I know that you're going to make this Oahu thing happen. You've been talking about it and dreaming about it. Islander Ohana member, met you in person at one of our meetups. It was great. Um, and so uh, don't don't give it up. Uh, and uh, oh, we have a... Uh, uh, somebody uh um, tulsi is the t-shirt i'm seeing tulsi hey scott thanks for getting us into our house in kailua while the getting was well better than it is now we're very grateful hey man look gang it's it's a tough it's a tough deal to go but if you got someone like scott who's got 20 years behind him you know in context up the wazoo to get the job done all right heidi your turn heidi what's going on on maui give us the update uh what's let's see yeah give us the update heidi news market whatever you want to talk about well, consistent with on the Big Island and on Oahu, I mean, our market's still extremely strong here. Um, condos prices are up 29.5% um, compared to last year. The median price for condo is now 725 on Maui. Um, single family homes, 1.1. 1 .1. Um, in February, we saw that the number of properties going under contract compared to this time last year was down about 30%. And I mean, that's really just a, a lack of inventory. The thing that keeps the market going is demand. And I just, I have not seen that stopping, um, you know, from my vantage point, which is being a realtor here and getting calls about properties. There's, there's just more buyers in the market than there are sellers right now. So, I mean, very simply, that kind of shows you where things are. Um, vacation rental rates have been very strong. Um, and then with the lifting of the safe travels program, meaning you no longer need to upload your vaccine card or COVID test um, to come over to Maui starting, I believe, March 25th. I mean, I think that's just going to open things up even more. So, you know, we don't know what the future will hold, but right now, you know, that's where we are. Yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be interesting to kind of look at the history of this. It's really been a... a completely remarkable thing and and 
we should talk about that, you know, sometime, uh, like what does this, so what's the, you know, what are the, what are the takeaways, right? What are the takeaways that, that have been, uh, that, that we kind of get out of this, um, you know, before, okay. So we get, let's gonna, let, let's move on. Uh, first of all, a real quick comment from uh, Carl Kelly, who said, Scott prevented us from buying some awful money pits. Th this is, you know, I mean, look, you know, you know, we all try to, we all try to avoid, we all try to avoid talking to salespeople, right? And so we, you know, we all try to avoid talking to salespeople. And so we put realtors in that sort of salesperson and we think we could kind of do our own research and we think that we could buy real estate by doing Zillow searches because we're so used to being, you know, you're, you're used to be able to go on Amazon and just buy a product. And you think that the property uh, buying real estate is the same thing. It's not, it's not, it's incredibly complicated and having someone, you know, why not have someone it's kind of free to the buyer anyway, why not have someone who's got 20 years behind you at work? Absolutely.